with straighteners up. Welcome. If you're watching this, it means I finally got around to filming my first video. So, to kick things off, I'm here to bring you guys fitness content. I want to show you guys the best way to grow muscle. I want to show you guys how to handle nutrition. I also kind of want to show you guys my own personal journey. So to give you guys my background right up front, I used to be really overweight and I couldn't understand why. So like many of you, I got into the gym. I started lifting weights, and even though I started putting on muscle, I wasn't losing the body fat, and I could not understand why. Well, over many years, I have finally gotten to a place where I really understand nutrition. So I wanna show you guys how I lost a ton of weight. I started out at my very heaviest at 240 pounds. I got all the way down to 170 for my first bodybuilding show. Now, I have gone from the worst shape in my life to the best shape in my life. And I want to show you guys everything that I know so that you can do it for yourself. It's going to be exercise, nutrition, and other lifestyle habits that you can develop. It's going to help you along on your journey. So when I was overweight, I decided, you know what, I'm going to sign up for a show. And once I did that, all the pieces started to fall into place. In my mind, I knew that I had this thing that I was signed up for, I had to do it. And so I started researching as much as I could about bodybuilding. So to cover things off right up front, I wanna to explain to you guys two of my training principles that I use myself, and I think they would do a lot of help for you guys too. So my first principle is I like to think about energy on a rating of 100 to zero. So before every single set, whether it's my first set or my fifth set, I start out with an energy rating of 100, all right? Now, my goal is to get my energy down to as close to zero as possible. A lot of other people are going to call this failure, but in my own mind, doing it this way helps me think about, you know, the actual exertion of the muscle where I'm not just chasing a number, for example, a rep, or chasing a weight and more total muscle exhaustion. So let me give you an example. Let's say you're about to go do some bench press and your goal is to hit five reps. Now each rep that you're able to do costs you 17 units of energy. If you take 17 times five, that's 85. You're just shy of being able to do a sixth rep, but you just don't have the energy to do it. Well, in my mind, there's a problem here. You've worked yourself to 85, you've still got 15 units of energy left over, and if you do this repeatedly, week after week, you're leaving so much progress on the table. So I like to instead train with the idea that I am trying to get that value as close to zero as I can. And there's no right answer here. I can use heavy weight, I can use low weight. There's plenty of tools at my disposal, but the thing that really matters is getting to muscle exhaustion. Principle number two, I don't like a bunch of ambiguous studies. You see studies all the time, and a lot of other content creators are always citing this study or that study. The problem I have with that is, I'm not there when the study's being conducted. I don't know who's conducting that. I don't know who the sample sizes are. For all I know, the people that's being sampled in these studies could be high school teenagers that have never lifted weights before. And that's, that's actually probably what it is. So I'm not a big fan of that. Instead, I like to be a sample size of one. I am my own experiment. I have an engineering background, and so I approach the gym the same way. I do X and Y happen. All right, so not everything I do is going to work out every time but I'm able to take the things that work and keep them and the things that did not work and discard them. This gives me a wide tool set. I don't pigeonhole myself into any one specific style of training or style of diet. I'm using everything that I think works. And I'm getting rid of all the things that I don't. But for me, this is a great way to actually learn because I'm open-minded to everything while at the same time being cautious of everything. 
So I like to do my own research. I am a sample size of one. That might not be the most YouTube popular thing to do, but that's how I'm gonna do it, guys. I like to experiment on myself. Now, next thing. I really wanna cover this off because it's super important. Supplements are not that big of a deal. I do take supplements and I will in time show you guys what I take, but I wanna make sure that everyone knows supplements are not a game changer. You gotta get the diet down first. And once your diet is in a really good place, then you can incorporate supplements to give you that extra few percent. It's like getting extra credit on a test. You're not gonna pass the class with extra credit, but if you've already got an A, that extra credit could be what bumps you up to an A+. So that is what I am going to be showing you guys. And I wanna make sure I'm upfront about this. I'm not a big fan of branding. Branding often comes with a lot of people after your money, they're selling you things you don't need. If someone's got a price tag on it, it's probably not for your benefit, but for their benefit. So with that, I'll show you guys what I take, but you don't have to buy anything that I show you and I'm not affiliated with anybody. I wanna make sure that's upfront. And to that, I also don't wanna be selling programs, I don't wanna be selling diets. I wanna show you guys what works because I spent so many years chasing the YouTube rabbit hole, getting spun around, and I never really had the right information. And now that I do, I wanna share it with you guys. Another thing, so I've done four bodybuilding shows. I'm gonna be working on my fifth show in 2023, and I wanna use this channel as an amazing opportunity to show you guys what I do on myself to get in the absolute best shape possible. Now with that, there are going to be some things you may not want to do, so don't do them. But I want to at least show you what they are so that you could, in theory, if you wanted to, copy the things that I do and get the same results that I get. Now, some people might say, whoa, hold on, everybody's different. It doesn't work that way. I'd like to present this counter argument. When you're in the military, you got guys of all different heights. When they're doing the fitness test, they say, okay, the guy is six foot, He's gotta run a mile, but this guy over here who's 5'10", he only has to run 0.9 miles. No, they, it don't, they don't do that. They give everyone the same programs. And some people are gonna excel more than others, and that's okay. Not everyone is going to be getting first place, but it, I wanna stress that this whole, we are unique and we all have different requirements, it's way overstated. In fact, I, re I almost don't really believe in it at all. I think you guys could have the same results that I've had using the same strategies that I use. It's gonna be up to you guys if you wanna do them or not, but I want to at least show them to you. So that's gonna be the point of my channel, and I hope you guys really like the content that I'm gonna be bringing towards you. Uh, my next few videos, one of them is gonna be a shopping video, so I'm gonna show you what kind of foods to buy and which kind of foods not to buy. Soon after that, I'm going to bring you guys my favorite gym exercises and how to mechanically perform them for maximum muscle growth. So with that, I'm really happy to launch this channel. This is my first video, so if you like what you've seen so far, give me a like, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you can hit the notification bell, once I start producing more informational content, that will be very helpful for you guys. So with that, that concludes my first video and I hope to see you guys soon.